months ago, I decided to change directions with my channel and do my best to start documenting my life. I'm on, I'm on this uh, documenting my whole life kick right now. So uh, just uh, all along the way, I want to bring you guys with me. So you're here. Welcome to the channel. Quite honestly, you guys haven't missed that much at all. It's in the middle of winter time. It's freezing cold. It's really too cold right now to ride, to go out, to do anything on the motorcycle. And during this time of year, I suffer, well, probably from what a lot of other content creators do, rider's block. But today I wanna to find a few things that's gonna refresh me, inspire me, and many of those I'd like to share with you guys. What's waiting on me outside right now is beautiful, inspiring, and just doesn't show up a lot in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's been years and years since we've had a good snow. So moments like this, well, I just like to take it all in. Being creative as a motorcycle content creator in the winter, I do believe it's possible, but it is most certainly difficult. For many of us, it might just be too cold for you to ride. Your bike might be put up for the winter. And I know for me, it just gets too dark too dang early. Enough of this nonsense, it's freezing. Let's get back inside. Most people find inspiration when they get away from the routine things in life. The same old, same old gets tired and boring but I find much comfort in many of the normal day-to-day -day things that I do in life. Some seem to get fixated on getting away from the normal to find inspiration. While I do believe a walk in the park, a quick trip to the store, or spending time in nature can be a wonderful thing. For me, it feels like I am forcing creativity instead of just trying to relax and let it happen naturally. Even though it's cold and miserable outside, that isn't any reason to not spend time with my motorcycles. All right, something really simple we're doing in the garage today, and I need y'all's feedback if you don't mind. But this antenna right here, this is an eye poker that is waiting to happen. Anytime I'm out working on the bike, that type of thing, it almost jabs me in the face. I've got a Harley Davidson luggage rack that's gonna go back here that uh, a Rick Rack luggage system is gonna attach to. And man, this thing is just in the way. And besides, when I'm on my bike, I do listen to music, but never AM, FM, never CB or anything like that. I always listen to either Spotify through Apple CarPlay or Sirius XM, which has its own, its own antenna that's built into the front of the bike. So we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna try to use these little plugs that I bought from Amazon. I'll show you those and then uh, see what we think. Well, here we go. The Harley Davidson plugs that I got on Amazon, just some cheap knockoffs just to do the job, just a couple of bucks. So anyway, first step first, let's get rid of that antenna. We're just gonna take this guy completely out of here. We do not need it. And then this little guy needs to come out of there. This one should just pop in place. This one should pop in place. Oopsie. And it does. Well, I don't think it looks too bad. What do you guys think? I mean, the fender's plugged up, the antenna's gone, that eyesore is out of the way. You don't have to deal with that. You know, I always draw a little bit of inspiration when I can put my hands on my motorcycle whether it's something that's very easy like this or something that's more complex for me. Anytime I can work on the bike, I draw tons of inspiration from that. You know something else that always is helpful when it comes to inspiration? A good book. 
It's interesting how from time to time you can find something that you can draw inspiration from and then repeatedly go back to that source time and time again. Case in point, I recently ran across this video from Rick Rubin. Yeah, I, something I say in the book is that the audience comes last. And I believe that. I, I, I'm, not, um, I'm not making it for them. I'm making it for me. And it turns out that when you make something truly for yourself, you're doing the best thing you possibly can for the audience. Rick Rubin is a producer. He's also the founder of Def Jam Records, and he's worked with just about every artist that you can think of out there. Coincidentally, he has also written a fantastic book. The name of this book is The Creative Act, A Way of Being. You can find it on Amazon. I'll put the links in the description below for you guys. Reading is a great form of inspiration for me, especially if it's something that I'm interested in. And so far from my experience, this book is right on point with being a content creator. One of the main things that I've learned recently about being a content creator is it's okay to not obey the rules. Rules that we put on ourselves, rules that others follow, and rules that we are told that exist. There are no bad rules or good rules, only rules that fit the situation and serve the art, or those that don't. If you struggle with inspiration or creativity from time to time, I sure hope this video has given you something to think about. It's not always easy, but wow, what a great hobby we have here. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I appreciate your time. I'll see you in the next one.